dig in, everyone. So just want to do a, a really quick little bit on the, the clean and both learning it and differentiating between the two types. So we, we have what we call the dead clean and we have the swing clean. So the dead clean is sort of one of the first things that we're, we're going to be learning towards working up to the swing clean because the swing clean is a little bit tougher to manage, a little bit less intuitive. So the difference between the two is the dead clean comes straight up along the body, so it's a vertical movement. The swing clean is going to come from the hips and be more of a horizontal movement that you have to, to rein in. Now, when you're first learning the clean, it's almost inevitable that you're going to bang your, your forearms with it. So just be prepared for that. It doesn't mean you're doing it, uh, you're on the wrong track. It's just the way of reminding yourself that you need to, to work on cleaning it up. So, with the, the dead clean, like I said, it's going to come straight up the body, and the idea is we want to think like we're doing up a zipper on a jacket. All right? We are also going to use more of our legs on this one and stay more upright to start. So it's going to look like this. And watch how it zips straight up. Now we're finishing in that rack position, nice and tight. We've got our, our upper arm against the body, and the kettlebell's resting nicely right in sort of that, that V of our forearm and our bicep, all right? When we go back down, we, it's like we're unzipping the jacket, but we let the kettlebell lead the movement, and then we follow it down. All right, so from the side, this is again the dead clean. Straight up the body, upright, more legs involved, and I'm going to zip it right up. Finishing in that rack position, and then I'm going to let the kettlebell lead me back down. Okay, so that's the dead clean. And you're going to be working on that before you start working on the swing clean. Because at the same time, you're going to be learning how to do the single arm swing. Once you've got the single arm swing down and the dead clean, you can put the two together. So, as I mentioned earlier, the swing clean comes from the hips. All right? So we start like a swing, comes back, and as we come up, this is where it changes. We have to keep our, our upper arm more or less against the body, and that's where it turns into that zip and right up here. But rather than driving through the legs up, we're coming through here and keeping it tight into that, that finish. So it looks like this. All right, now when we go back down, 